Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In today's video, uh, to the Badugans mobile gameplay review comparison between the Realme GT vs Realme Exxon Max device. So in this video, I'll mainly focus on the CPU and the GPU utilization. So which phone is utilizing how much kind of percentage in terms of the CPU and the GPU utilization. The Realme GT has got the Snapdragon processor, which is a Snapdragon 888 chipset. And the Realme Exxon Max has got the Dimensity 1200 chipset. Let's see when the, this is a question which has been requested by few of my subscribers. So whenever you try to play the Badigons mobile game in this Realme phones, we all know that we do get this kind of uh, game control center as you can see. So here you can actually track what is the CPU and what is the GPU utilization, so how much it is, what kind of percentage the phone is actually utilizing. Because depending upon the percentage as well, we can definitely expect how much the battery will be draining and how much the temperatures can actually increase. If the percentage is more, that means the battery is consuming more and the temperatures also will increase more and you'll get the better performance. And not only that, I'll try to show you a couple of examples like in the standby mode, how much it is, in the team that match, how much it is, if you're trying to play the classic match in the Arangel map or maybe bootcamp, Sanok map, how much the percentage can be there. That is what my main motive of testing this video. I let me to go to the settings of both devices, so is the graphic settings. So right now I'm trying to use the smooth and extreme settings, as you can see friends, smooth and extreme. And same both phones, so Realme GT, smooth and extreme, smooth and extreme. Let me tell you what happens if you try to play with the smooth and extreme, how much the CPU and the GPU utilization will be there between both devices at this moment. So without any, any kind of gameplay at all, at the standby mode right now in the home page, what are the CPU and the GPU utilization? You can see the GPU utilization in the Realme X and Max is above kind of 30%, 30 and 40%. Sometimes, as you can see, friends, exactly in the Realme GT, in the Snapdragon 888 processor in this phone, in this, you can clearly see the difference. The GPU is not utilizing that much in the standby mode. You can see, friends, clear difference what is happening. And the CPU percentage is also less than the 30 percentage between both devices. Exactly, you can actually see the difference what is going on. So, this is the thing. And let me try to open the maybe Sonic Bootcamp uh, map. Let me try to open same map in both phones what happens let's see how will be the cpu utilization will be there during this process of demonstration try to focus on the cpu and the gpu utilization right now you can see how the both phones are reacting into the map let's see so the map started first in the realme x and max and now so taking some time in the realme gt so this is the realme gt you can differentiate so 4d vibrations is available in the realme x and max and 4D vibrations is not available in the Realme GT smartphones. In this way, you'll be able to dif definitely di uh, differentiate what is going on between both phones. I think this will give the clear idea which phone is what type of phone. Now try to observe the utilization, how much it's going on in the standby mode. Let me try to run. Let's see what happens if I try to run. Wow. I think both are its, <laughs> its same map. So both phones are connected. Right now you can see the CPU and the GPU utilization, how they are reacting. That's fantastic as you can see it's exactly same situation same time running you can see the C gpu it is not utilizing much four percentage but in the real max and max it is utilizing higher so 42 percentage with the same fps smooth and extreme only i'm trying to play as you can see this video is only dedicated for the smooth and extreme if you want i'll definitely do the 90 fps as well Try to focus on the utilization, how much it is, slightly, little by little it's improving. At this map, now you'll be able to understand what is going on as well. 9% and 36% exactly. I'll try to drop at same time in both phones, jump at same time. At same location. So now you'll be able to understand what is going on as well in this way. In the map also you can see both phones are up. Both players are there, both phones. So now you can understand friends clearly what is going on. So 34 percentage and the CPU percentage is slightly close to 34 and 41 and uh, CPU you can see on the Realme X and Max is 35, not bad. GPU it's not utilizing much in the Realme GT at this moment. It's only showing 10 and 9 percentage, that's it. You can see how they are reacting. So this is a question friends which a lot of users that you have this kind of thing that how is the snapdragon processor is handling in terms of the cpu and the gpu utilization how much they are utilizing so this i thought of making a video side by side comparison so you know exactly what is happening in this kind of scenario as you can see try to observe the utilization the cpu is kind of same cpu it's kind of same but the gpu is a lot different single digit 
CPU utilization is there in the Realme GT. In the Realme X and Max, it's kind of close to 50% sometimes. Both phones now, let me try to start running at the same time. Yes, so both phones are running, friends, at this moment, as you can see exactly. At the same line. So this should be kind of equal comparison between both phones. So now you'll be able to see how they are utilizing when they are trying to run at same map, in same location as well at same time, side by side. You can clearly see the difference how they are utilizing. So it's not right now increased to 10 percentage. CPU and the GPU, GPU utilization is 10 percentage and CPU is still remaining around 30. And the GPU came up to 60 utilization in the 70 as well, Realme X and Max, 40 vibrations, Realme X and Max. As you can see the difference how they are behaving you can clearly see the difference as you can see friends side by side so that of just demonstrating uh, just let you know what is happening and the real time fps as well you can clearly track what is going on between both phones as well how how well they are utilizing in terms of the fps and everything and now let me do a disconnect and go to the team that match. Let's see what happens in the team that match. So will the team that match behave any kind of same or not? That is what I'm going to exactly check. Both phones are started at the same time. And after this match, I'll try to end up this video friends. I don't want to make a really very lengthy one. Just for the demonstration only out of curiosity, I thought of following this kind of video. So just to show you what is happening between both phones. In this match you can see what is happening. CPU and the GPU utilization, how it is. Sixty and that's the twenty-four percentage, five percentage. Not bad. So either the GPU utilizing is a little bit kind of less in the Realme X and Max before it was close to 40 and 50 but right now in the Realme GT it came to 5 as you can see 5 percentage of the GPU utilization in this mode. As so you can clearly see the difference friends how much it is between both devices. That's it friends thank you for watching this video I, just, I thought of just uh, showing you what is happening between both phones in terms of the utilization. So which phone is utilizing what kind of uh, percentage just to let you know what is going on between both phones as you can see clearly what is happening so this is friends thank you for watching this video and don't forget to stay tuned for more updates and interesting comparison videos with other smartphones where you'll be able to get to know how the both phones are behaving so see you in the next video friends and stay tuned for more updates meanwhile signing off bye